Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so this video... When's the last time you posted? I don't remember. I don't want to know. Watch hey guys, this. welcome back to my YouTube channel because she's not she's going to post this no, and not no, post no. I'm like going to post this years. on my channel. Um, we actually, as you all know, I'm not wearing my ring, but we got engaged back at the end of September in Bora Bora. Seems, sounds weird. I know, it's weird to say. So we are fiancés now. We're not girlfriend and boyfriend. I still say girlfriend though. His name is Nidanse. As you guys may have seen or may have not seen, Nidun had been vlogging the entire process. I didn't get to see that entire process. So we thought it would be just fun to film my reaction watching. It's been two months. I know. Exactly two months. That's so mean. Why is that mean? How dare you not watch my video for two months? No, I've been itching to watch it. It's just no, like a lot of people happy. till like because you know I've just started going to like events in the last month. Like people are just starting to see me and congratulate me and whatever, and they start talking about the video, and I'm like, oh my god, don't tell me I haven't seen the video yet. So we're finally getting around to filming this reaction video, and I'm really excited because I feel like who knows? Might just bring back the feels. <laughs> bring back the feels. She got it. Your dad's at the door, by the way. Oh, my bad. Papa! <laughs> got it. Damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> One, I think one spin. Oh, yeah, no? That's what you put Because that would be, it's, it the flows. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Hey, what the f I'm going on vacation. Oh, okay. Yeah. For five days. Do you know why? No. How much was this? Congratulations. Thanks, man. How much? I'm not telling you. I know. How much? Sure, yeah. We'll go with that. And we'll make it happen, law of attraction, all that stuff. So, um, that was in my mind from way before. I'm like, you know what, one day if I could do a sick proposal, I would love to do it there. Denise could call me right away and she's like, you will not believe what happened. And I feel so bad. I actually feel bad because like, I'm laughing because like, she's That's telling me bad. and I have to laugh. She's like, hey, this is opportunity and one of the spots might be Bora Bora. We're gonna go pick up the goods right now, if you know what I mean. Goddamn. It's blinging. It's almost time. Let's get it. So Bora pretty. Bora. Here we come, soon. If I'm not coming, you're not going, fam. <laughs> Bora Bora. Bora Bora, Nidun, was on my vision board. I was at Ovia's house. Yeah. Me your They're probably sitting there like- My follow-up question is, would my partner be permitted to come with me? What are deliverables? Uh, one reel, five to ten pictures. Do you see my acting there? You probably didn't see it, but you heard it. I was like, oh my God, Like I better be coming and all this nonsense. So, so far, <laughs> so good. I am receiving the okay, even boo. better job for taking me with you. Any day, babe. You deserve this just as much as I do. Thanks, <laughs> Little does she know I have no clients that week. I just said that to make it more believable. Uh, maybe I'll add a few clips into the beginning of this so you guys are apt to watch it. You'll sub to the page. <laughs> sub, like, comment, maybe? You guys, uh, oh my gosh. I couldn't stop smiling. Um, wow, I remember that like it was yesterday. Like all of that going down, like me getting the, you know, offer to come to Bora Bora for, by uh, Tahiti Tourism or whatever, but... I didn't even know Tahiti tourism. Wow, okay, first there. of all, storytelling is an A++. You like it? Yeah, wow, okay. wow, wow, wow. Oh, I like wow. the back and forth with, between the clips. Okay, I feel like I'll mention it after watching the second one. Because, like, I remember getting that message from my manager, and, like, I had no freaking idea. Like, everyone till this day always asks me, like, you must have known, you must have known. And I'm like, no, I had no freaking clue. So that everyone here hears it, because I keep getting people asking me, like, did you know, did you know? I did not know. 
There was not a single moment where he slipped nothing, anything. And when I say I did not know, the reason why I didn't know, you guys, is because we have never spoken about like getting married. We have never spoken about when we want to get, you know, engaged. No serious conversations. Like here and there, my dad and his mom would just ask us like, oh, you know, you guys are getting older, whatever, whatever. But we've never had a conversation, let alone, guys, I've never, like, I don't even, I didn't even know what ring I wanted. And be, I, I was so confident. I'm like, Nadu knows how picky I am. Like picky, like if you know me, you know how picky I am, okay? Like picky, picky, picky. So there's no way Nadun would just go and just wing, like, you know, just get any random ring and hope that I like doing that. But I keep just, in mind also, random times where conversations would come up about it, I would always shut it down right away because I never wanted to have the conversation where it would put an idea in her head that it's it happening. could potentially happen like within a year or two years or whatever. Like, like from- he, guys, like at, I was at a point where I'm like, I don't think I'm ever going to get married because like he would just never bring it up. Two days till it goes down. Everything's going well. I hear the water. Where was I? Off. Showering. Like I didn't get an email that the booking was confirmed. Tell me how she calls them to try to figure it out. And they're like, 1,000? Ooh. Are we about it? <laughs> Guys, we're going to do this business class? Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. 5,000? Yeah, we only live once, fam. Oh, wait. Does... You have an eyelash. What does that mean? Doesn't that mean something? Oh, wait. Does it go? It is a sleeping thing. Yes. <laughs> what does this mean? That's good luck. Okay, let's go. Well, let's go. <laughs> We seriously they don't realize that we have a mortgage to pay for. <laughs> I hope like that doesn't affect like the brand. Yeah, but that's well, part we of the. We just paid four thousand worth about a twenty dollar meal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I could just buy food. Prospective. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, sorry. That's Each true. person was. I think I searched it up. It was around three. We are the reason we are sitting here today, going to Bora Bora, <laughs> and all paid. All expense paid, is that how you say? All expense paid trip to Bora Bora with <laughs> Four Seasons Bora Bora. Four Seasons, guys, we're gonna be in one of those overwater bungalows over the lagoon. Like, it's crazy. But it's insane. <laughs> oh, first class! This is where we're staying. Oh my god. I wanna go back. Can I turn it off before I end record? I feel bad. She's currently vlogging about how she wanted to come to one of these spots. It was manifestation though. Here. <laughs> you manifested it for me. <laughs> so spin transition. Okay, so first part we're going to do in Toronto. Basically here, spin. So one spin, two spins, spin away from me. Three, two, one, and go. Bay, what the f Bay? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Are you for real? Obviously, yes! Oh, uh, 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 yes, sir. Oh my god, Bay! <laughs> Do you like it? Bay, I love the ring. It's like my dream ring. This, I that felt was so bad. Why wouldn't you convince me to post it tomorrow? <laughs> but it's even funnier. <laughs> it's even funnier. It's even funnier. I'm. Wait, who is that? What the? <laughs> so that's why people were cheesed. Because they didn't know who was there. Mm. That was. Crazy. The whole video, all that's going through my head is me talking about me manifesting this trip and I had that I deserve this, I deserve that, he deserves this, he deserves that. Let me tell you guys my honest feelings, okay? Because I did, I think I did tell him. After this whole proposal thing, you know, I was obviously very grateful. Like being proposed in Bora Bora is like a dream. So I'm very grateful, but if I had to choose and tell him something, I'd be like, you're not proposing in Bora Bora because it is so expensive you guys and it's so funny because as i'm watching this video there were so many signs that i just missed so many signs that i just missed one one like lunch he ordered two burgers i had a pizza and a drink that came to 275 dollars usd 
And so I'm sitting there, and I wish we caught this on camera because that would have been hilarious. When we go, typically when we go on brand trips, any lunch or anything that you're buying outside of like, you know, what's being provided, you're, you're, a lot of brands allow you to invoice them and you get reimbursed for it. So I'm sitting there like, yeah, but it's okay. Like, don't trip because we're going to invoice the brand and they're going to pay for it. But let's still not eat so much. Um, let's try to keep it at a minimum because I don't want this brand thinking like, why are they spending $275 per meal? I didn't want them to think that. And then when I found out that we were paying for everything, it took me, like, yes, you could see in the video, I'm, like, so surprised and so happy, but it took me that night to be, like, are we really? I'm, like, I feel like I just want to stay in this overwater bungalow and not eat, like, literally eat the fruit that's there. And that's all I want to eat because it's so expensive. But then, you know, it took me a while to, like, the be, like, you know what? The fruit was, like, $75. The fruit was expensive, too, but it was, like, the cheapest thing. But it took me a moment to be like, you know what? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like who gets to say they got engaged in Bora Bora and experienced that? And like, you know, we're very fortunate that we both have the jobs that we do that allow us to pay and provide this type of experience for ourselves. So yeah, I was like, you know what? We just have to enjoy it and be in the moment and just deal with the consequences of this trip afterwards. Um, but yeah, so, oh my God, that was, that was crazy. I think for me... You're, wow, your storytelling is really, really... I'm very impressed. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very, very so impressed. Yeah, actually, after this episode, I got a lot of messages in my DMs, and people were super angry. Let's turn your mic off before you start chewing out here. But yeah, people were very angry because I left it on a cliffhanger. And the reason I did that, obviously, you know, YouTube, social media, you got to people keep you got to keep people engaged. And wanting to come back. And honestly, I started growing quite a bit after posting these videos. And I think because I left the cliffhangers, people are like, they were pissed because they're like, God damn, I want to see what's next. But at the same time, they're like, hey, I'm going to come back and watch it. Um, the thing about the food bill, obviously, I knew I was going to spend more money once I got to Bora Bora, uh, which I budgeted for. Like I told myself, OK, like we're going to spend money on food and like excursions, stuff like that. It is what it is. But... After, after the, I get hit with 280 bucks. I don't know if it was US or CAD, but US, either. US, US. Was it US? Yeah, I just said you. They took only USD in Bora Bora. Oh God. Did some quick calculations in my head, and I'm like, this does not look good. Even if it was Canadian, it wouldn't look good. <laughs> and when I saw USD, I'm like, this definitely is not good. At that point, I was like, one, I can't do nothing about this because it is what it is. We're already here. Two, I was like, you know what? I'm sure I can figure it out. Guys, if I knew, if my gut knew that I'm going to get engaged on this trip, I don't know if I would have agreed to paying $4,000 for upgrading to first class seats because I only even took that. I even, I don't know if I mentioned it in the video, but I only even agreed to it because I'm like, you know what? We both have been working so hard. And I think we deserve an upgrade. And in my head, I'm like, that's the only thing we're paying for anyways, if you really think about it. You tricked me. I definitely did. I tricked my bank account too. But yeah, you guys, what I was going to say is the stress that this guy, he didn't mention it. He did an amazing job planning, but there's little, little things he forgot to plan, such as booking a hotel for our overnight stay in Tahiti. Forgot to do that. Our flight didn't pick our seats. And I have like a little bit of anxiety flying by, you know, like not by myself, but like when, if I know he's on the flight with me, we need to sit side by side. I got the itinerary from my manager and I'm like, oh, okay, everything looks good. But I'm kind of looking at it. I'm like, oh, okay. Like we're flying. Um, we're flying together. No seats on the itinerary. So right away I'm like, oh, hey, like, did they not pick our seats for us? Cause like, I would think that they would have picked our seats. And I've had a brand trip experience before where seating caused a little bit of issues where I got kicked off my flight. So I started to, you know, build a little bit of like, you know, anxiety. And then I'm like, wait a second, we land in Tahiti at 9 p.m., but our flight to Bora Bora is only at 9 a.m. How does that make sense? And I'm like, are they not providing accommodation for us to stay? Because like, I'm gonna assume that the airport in Tahiti is very small. So I messaged my manager and my manager, obviously knowing what's going down, she is contacting Dune to let him know. And then all of a sudden she was like, yeah, they're going to book your accommodation. They're just working on it. And then my guy here had to book a hotel. Storytelling. 
You guys, I'm actually so shook right now. I did not know, like I knew you were obviously a talented videographer, but I'm actually shook with how you place the clips of these, like everything you vlog, like how you incorporated your vlog with the actual proposal, like the sound effects. Like I got, I got goosebumps with that one. Oh my God. I don't wave at the camera. Wait, who is that? What the? A very important job. Oh no. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to not think about that. I should wear gloves. Okay, fine. God damn. You gotta remind me to take the ring with me. What did you fry? Do you have it in a pouch <laughs> that you take out? I know, out I know, but it's just, just, you know, just, just in case. Wow. These two dudes and Avita have been filming with me for the past four to six years, and honestly, my business would not be where it is today if it wasn't for them. Two of the hardest working people I know. I had in my bag. What if you had to check that bag in today? Doozy's coming with me, and we're going to go with Bora Bora. We're going <laughs> to get this ring to Nadoon, and Nadoon's going to do his thing. Oh. <laughs> Good job swimming from Canada to here. <laughs> Hopefully the light does not change while I'm doing this. Knees weak, arms are heavy. My ears are clogged already. Wait, any words of advice? Arms are sweaty. Oh, you had it on you? Mm -hmm. Where was I? Mm -hmm. You're risky. <laughs> Dead. That's so beautiful though, oh my god. I saw your IG post and I was rolling fast. Insanity. <laughs> I'm actually, yeah. Oh, I really thought my man was gonna take his sweet ass time. But yeah, I'm happy. Got I can't you. believe it. I'm shook. Not good so far. Oh my god, come on, my god! I don't know why you guys, like after it's yesterday like happened, the way it was, like my, like, Look at this, guys. Look at this crap. Like, How is that even like real? Like, oh my god. Guys, we can also take pictures and videos of you too as well, okay? Like, how is that real? Like, that could be your painting here. Walk away to a beach that looks like this. You can literally see right through this water. Like, it's so clear. That's not gonna be possible. I think we're gonna have to go like real fast, like 50, 60 maybe. Uh, I'm gonna, but I'm doing it because Shanice might watch this. Oh, okay, so Shanice, if Shanice, you're watching this, uh, we only <laughs> went 15 kilometers. Very slow. He did not go fast. Nope. Yeah. That was so much fun. Did I, were my GoPro clips like any good? These was are them. This? Yeah. Oh, ew. No, they're fire. What do you mean? Really? This is you. I took that. I remember that. Yeah. V2 is crazy. So v2 that reminded me of his drifting in the middle of the road. Yeah, V2 on the jet ski is built different. So we are currently at the beach. The beach? Lagoon. Lagoon. Uh, it's in the middle of the resort. It's kind of cool. So. <laughs> that was me helping me. <laughs> Chapter? Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling all the emotions right now. Three. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I get you watch. This is my favorite restaurant ever. So good. The food here actually is super amazing. It is pretty expensive, but I mean, you're staying at Bora Bora, Four Seasons, it's gonna be expensive. Like most. The food at Bora Bora, Four Seasons Resort specifically, fire. It is really expensive, 
But, I mean, if you're staying at the Four Seasons, then <laughs> you gotta go all in. Did you just copy literally? I just what <laughs> word for word what I said. <laughs> 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 you see that on this camera right here. You just copy word for word with that damn shit. Try this. Your face. Your <laughs> foods here also are amazing. Your foods here also are amazing. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Did you like that you went by yourself on this one? Fire. I think we did a lot of things we wouldn't have. Pacific Ocean? Yeah. Yeah. I felt a lot more comfortable on the jet ski too. Yeah. Because the first day I was getting Oh god, see, I was getting darker. That, oh. It is creepy though. Look at this though. This is the. And he just, oh god. When he left me, I was so shook. <laughs> I was like, yo, I gotta chase him down right now. Bro. I'm This is for you. Oh my god, thank you so much. This is for you guys. Yes. yes thank you so much. Thank yes, really no problem. No you guys problem. made her day. This was very nice. Thank, thank you. So thank you. No you. problem. Ten to fifteen minutes shooting the transition, and a hundred to a thousand minutes of me waiting. <laughs> That's true. This video is the one that went viral. I actually didn't want to film that day. And oh, wait till you wait till I do my recap. Oh God, this is. Oh God, no. <laughs> You're so soft. Shut up. Oh God. That's how I feel right now. Uh, I don't know what to say. I got a little emotional earlier. Just watching. I don't know. It was so nice to have V2 and Duzan there, for one, because, you know, we got to experience our proposal with, like, you know, two people we really love and respect. And the fact that, you know, they left everything behind to come, like, experience our proposal with us and make sure, you know, it's filmed and everything. And what now is really, really special. Um, yeah, I just got really, like, emotional. And I hope I don't get even more emotional talking about it. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was going to say, I'm just happy that we have something that our uh, kids one day can look back on, so thank you. Mm -hmm. Ew, I did not expect to cry, but <laughs> what the... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I was going to say, like, it's... Um, the one thing that I really love about Nidun is ever since I met him, he's just he, this guy is known to be carrying a camera around with him for everything he does. Um, and before I used to always be like, why are you always carrying a camera? Why are you always carrying a camera? But he's proven over the years and showed me over the years that he captures the most memorable experiences of my life. And it's so amazing that I could look back at it and be like, oh my God, this happened. Oh my God, this happened. Like, it was so nice that, you know, it's there as a reminder. Like, I literally sat here and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe that happened. Oh my God, I, I just remember that. Oh my God, we did that. So like, oh my God, he went to the Pacific Ocean. Like, you know, it's, it's really nice that we have this. And like, anytime I want, it's there for me to watch. And, you know, we have our story, you know, out there on his channel for... You know, our loved ones, and one day, uh, when and if we have kids, that they can go back and watch our proposal story. So it's just really nice that you thought I was very deserving of such a proposal. Honestly, I feel like I had some serious imposter syndrome that was also adding to my stress on this proposal. I, I didn't really talk much about it. I was saying I was anxious about the money thing, but 
I had a moment where I was just sitting there. I'm like, why did he do all this for me? And I felt so guilty and so bad that he was spending this much money for me. And I was trying not to think about it, but I just was like, I don't know what I did to deserve all this, to be honest. Because like, I don't know how I'm going to repay you. And I don't think I've ever done anything in my life to match up to something like this. Um, and it was really nice that he was able to provide this as an experience for everyone that's been following our journey on social media and have been, you know, huge supporters. So I'm glad that you guys all got to witness it too. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Mm. That was really good. I'm, I'm, I give you an A plus plus plus. Yay. That was really nice. I'm like, I'm actually sad it's over. I'm like, wait, I want another episode. <laughs> But you guys, let me just say this. Like so many people are coming out to me and saying, when's your wedding date? I'm like, we don't have a wedding date. We never picked our wedding date and then decided to get engaged, which first of all, it's completely okay if that's how you choose to go about it. But I was very particular in like, I want to get engaged, enjoy the engagement. And just if a wedding is to you know, happen, it happens. But we're not getting married. I don't think we're getting married anytime soon. I don't know. But when and if we do decide to get married, you best believe you will get to experience the whole process like this. Um, that's all I'm gonna say, but um, yeah, wow. Wow, you did a ph phenomenal job. Okay. I'm very, very impressed. I did not know, I knew you were so good at like, you know, the videography side, like, you know, just putting clips together, shooting, editing, color grading, all that stuff. I'm actually, I, I think I'm very shook with the fact that you, the storytelling was just so good. Like, cause I'm a sucker for those type of like movies or shows. Like, like This Is Us is one of my favorite shows, Great. which I have not finished. But Great. it's one of those shows that, you know, like I love how they go back and forth, back and forth. And then they show how everything is like connecting and like all that stuff. And I really felt that with this. The I mean, fact that you were even able to come back from the proposal and have this edited like immediately is just crazy. Yeah. Guys, like I, you know how Nadoon shot this vlog for Bora Bora? I shot, he bought me a camera that's sitting right there because I really wanted to vlog on this trip. And I, I did, so I personally am very proud of myself for how much I actually did vlog on the trip because I always am very inconsistent with vlogging. Mm. I have yet to edit that because of the stress. The fact that this guy went home and sat down and like put together all of this in episodes, I don't know. Goddamn. I don't know how you did it to be honest. Yeah. I'm like, wow. Huge thank you to everyone who's followed and subbed since then. Because, bruh, my page went from like 600 subs to like almost 1,400 subs now. And my Instagram went from 15,000 to 20,000. Huge shout out to everyone who's commented and liked and all that stuff. Yeah, huge shout out to everybody that's, you know, has been super excited for our relationship and just our next step, which is being Beyonce's. Um, and all of the, you know, kind messages that we've been receiving from everybody. I'm gonna watch this again. <laughs> I'm so glad that we got our TV installed today and then I got to witness this like a movie. I know, right? I'm at you guys, you don't understand. Like this was easily the best trip of my life. And it wasn't even like, I know it's Bora Bora people are like, yeah, duh, it's Bora Bora. Obviously it's not even that, like the people that work there, so kind, the food, amazing. The people that came with us, amazing. Like, it was just such a beautiful experience. So calm, so peaceful. And, yeah, I don't know. I can't wait to go back. I can't, I can't wait to go back, and I can't wait for Nadun to use the clip that, you know, me saying I can't wait to go back to be inserted in our next Bora Bora video. But, yeah, guys, that was my reaction to our proposal videos. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me watch that. Um, but if you guys did not get a chance to watch it, please, I know you guys were probably able to see the video like right here somewhere or right here somewhere or right here somewhere, wherever the video was, but go watch it in full. Um, I honestly think you guys would enjoy it. I thought it was, I thought it was really good, but mm, thank you for everything, baby. I love you. Love you too. But we will see you guys in our next video, whether it's on his channel or mine. Or our Together channel. I don't know. But see you in our next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channels. We love you guys. Mwah. Peace.